In this video, we are going to learn about split range control. So the most important thing is remember that it has one measured variable. So it measures something like maybe a pressure transmitter and the output is going to be split and divided. And there are going to be two manipulated variables. Mostly the final control element is usually a control valve or similar. Now let's look at a real life example of how a split range control looks like. Did you look in the example, there was a hero, there was one bullet, but there were two villains. So basically, it had to be split in order to get the work done, right? Now let's look at an industrial example. Before that, remember that split range control has to be divided into three important configurations. One is called as opposite operation. The second one is sequence operation. And the final one is a combination of both. That is sequence opposite operation. Let us look at this amazing and interesting concept. Let's take an example of a stirrer tank to understand this. So imagine here's your raw water coming in. Basically, our aim is to make this raw water have a pH value of neutralized. So basically, a pH analyzer is put here. If the service is too much acidic, I'll put caustic into it. If the service is too much basic, I'll put acid into it and finally neutralize it. So get it to a middle value. So now what happens is we'll put two control valves to control the acid and the caustic and the analyzer output will be split into these two valves. So the first valve which we are having will be an air to close valve while the second one will be an air to open valve. So basically they are opposite in function to each other. Thus the name opposite action. Now let us look at a control system graph of what happens inside the magical control system. So if you see here on the y axis we'll keep the valve position that is from close to open and on the x axis we'll keep the analyzer transmitter output between 0 to 100 percent. So y axis is having position x axis is having analyzer output between 4 to 20 milliampere for example now in this case if the ph is 1 that means your service is completely acidic so we would want the acid valve which is the valve number 2 to be completely closed and eventually when the ph if it is 14 means it is completely basic you would want the acid valve to be completely open similarly the valve number 1 which is called for caustic that should be initially open if the service is too acidic and eventually if the service is completely basic which is ph 14 we would want caustic to be completely closed so this is first example of the configuration of how a system works in opposite action. Now let us look at the second amazing example of a sequential split range control. In sequential split range control, remember that imagine has a separator here. Now here's a pressure transmitter to it and this separator is basically going to separate the liquid and the gas. So as soon as the pressure increases, this gas is going to go to the compressor and further down the line. If the abnormal condition exists, then it will go to flare so that the separator itself does not burst and that will be flared out the basically it is like in safety system to it now with this thing let us control these two lines so let us put control valves here and the pressure transmitter signal will be split in between the two valves but the both the valves will help each other so the both will be air to open valves both of them are going to have the same control action now let's look what happens in the control system so if you look here for example let us have on the y axis the closed and the open position and x axis the output of pressure transmitter Let's have the 50% line here to understand it. So now the valve number one is going to initially start from closed position to open position when the pressure increases. So at 50%, the valve one will be completely open and all the gas will go to compressor. So this is basically your normal pressure, usual application. But imagine there is some dangerous reaction happened and the gas is increasing to an extreme amount of level. So for this case, now second valve will have to come into picture and valve valve number 2 will completely open till 100% and this will start to put the gas going to compressor as well as to flare. So this kind of system here is taking care for abnormal pressure conditions. So here the valve number 1 is sized for normal conditions. Two, it will be a larger valve which will size which will be sized for abnormal condition so this is the second configuration of split range controller of how it works now let us look at the combination of both the first and the second configuration which we just saw 
So imagine here is a storage tank. We have to control the pressure of the storage tank. You have two systems to control. One is the, you can control the inlet or you can remove the from the outlet. So let us put two valves here and the pressure transmitter signal will follow to these two valves. But remember, one is air to close and one is air to open. So they are opposite in reaction to each other. Now a pressure transmitter signal will be split in between the two valves. Let us look now what happens with these two valves. So as we said, we are here's the graph to it. Here's the pressure transmitter output and here's 50% line. Now initially, let us look what valve one will do. So if the pressure is increasing in the storage tank, the inlet valve will slowly start to close so that the pressure is reduced in the storage tank. Eventually it does that up till 50%, but imagine there is some reaction or something happening inside the valve, or maybe the valve one is not working physically or it has got damaged. Then still the pressure is increasing. Now we will have to use the outlet valve. So the inlet valve is closed completely, but still we are having pressure increasing in the storage tank. Now valve number two will come into action. Valve two will grow from closed state because it is air to open. So when air is supplied, it will start to open and get to outlet. So whatever is your waste disposal, etc., it will go to the outlet side of it. So here, if you see both the valves are opposite, but they are working in a sequential manner. If it doesn't happen with closing the inlet, then the outlet will have to be opened. So when both the valves are in function, one is closed, the other is open. This is the optimum way to release all the pressure from the storage tank outside. Wait, if you are dead serious about learning, core engineering and if you're an engineer who has an experience of zero to seven years then i'm very very positive that you would find this course very helpful as per isa 5.1 standard people have said it's a clickbait because you get to learn so much more this video is part of that entire course the link to the entire course is given in the description and in the comment section if you have any doubts i would be extremely happy to help you if not, don't worry. Let's meet next Saturday and learn something new again. Till then, happy learning.